I think when you're looking at creating a, a home that feels spacious, it's being mindful of the amount of items that you're putting in a home. So it's actually considering the storage and having a place for everything so that the homes don't feel cluttered. When we're developing uh, the schemes and the finishes, it's, it is important to consider a neutral colour scheme. Some of the things that make up a neutral colour scheme will include the, the stones on the bench top, the joinery, the tiling within the bathrooms, the finishes on the floor. So all of these materials create a backdrop for the purchaser to then come in and add their own furnishings and style to the home. Keeping it simple, go for the, you know, your statement pieces. Um, in apartments, I wouldn't really choose um, pendant lighting and then you might have a, a really fabulous statement light over your big kitchen bench. But apart from that, I would stick with the recessed lighting and buy beautiful lamps and create mood that way. Create areas with lamp lighting rather than overhead. I think that that keeps things really nice and streamlined, and you can just create different atmospheres. It's it's amazing how many different looks you can create in an apartment depending on your own taste. Uh, one mistake people make is trying to buy small pieces, just lots of small pieces to fit into. You know, less is more. A few key pieces, well positioned. Um, and spend on you know really great great quality design pieces. You don't need many, um, and then you know have them for longer. Really um, style the space beautifully so you're happy with it. Work out what your anchor piece is. You might have fabulous artwork that you know you love and it was amazing, and you you know coveted it for ages, and you've got that, and that might be the piece you're taking in there, and then everything else comes from that. You use the tones of that to choose everything else. It might be a fab fabulous rug or it might be a sofa but there's usually one anchor piece in a room and then you develop your scheme around that. It's really easy to do mood boards now. You can do a little mood board on Pinterest, you can do one you know on your phone and just have all the things you like and you sort of work out a plan and it's amazing how it all comes together and when you put everything down that you like there's usually a common thread.